Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about Python programming types. It is of two types. First one is interactive mode, also known as cell mode, and the other one is script mode. So let's start the video. Okay, so here I had given some statement to understand the interactive mode and a script mode. So let us go through the statement. In interactive mode, the interpreter executes the code line by line in active memory. That is, after the successful execution of one line, the output is displayed and the interpreter moves on to the next line. Now, let us understand the meaning of this statement with the help of practical demonstration. So let me open my Python idle. Okay, so here is the Python idle window. Whenever you will open Python idle, you are going to get this particular window. And this window is only known as interactive mode. Let us write some code and see how execution is done in interactive mode. So let me write one statement here. So I will write here 25 plus 10. So I had given one instruction or I had written one command for Python to execute and the command is to add two numbers. So now I will press the enter key. After pressing the enter key, you can see the output is displayed here 35. So how it works? Basically, Python uses interpreter. We had already studied this in previous videos. Python uses interpreter to convert high level language into machine language. So whatever I had typed here 25 plus 10, this is a high level language. Means whatever number, whatever English alphabets and words we use to write program, that is known as high level uh, language because that is understood by the humans. but that is not understood by the processor. Processor only understand the language of zeros and ones, right? Which is known as machine language or binary form of the instruction. So interpreter converts our high level language into machine language in the form of zeros and ones. And the processor understand it and after um, understanding the uh, instructions that we had given to the processor, it executes that and gives us the output, which is 35. So this is how interactive mode works. And all the execution is done in active memory that we had already seen here, active memory. Means in RAM. processing is RAM. So let us uh, execute some more uh, commands here. So we will get to understand how it works. 8 minus 5 enter. So we are uh, getting 3 as output. Let us perform some uh, multiplication. 8 multiplied by 2. Wow, so we got the output as 60. 8 divided by 4. We are getting 2.0 float value. Float mean decimal value. Now let us try 2 slashes here. Wow. We got the difference here. The difference is in the decimal and integer value, right? So, in one slash, if you divide using one slash, uh, you will be getting the output in float values. Okay, decimal numbers pe hum ko values milega. Or double slash ko use karne ka matlab hota hai, that is known as float division. Float division ka matlab hota hai, you are going to get only integer value as answer. Okay, so yeh aise kam karta hai. Now let us use 8 modulus 3. So you are getting 2 here. So modulus operator basically gives us the output of remainder. Modulus operator divide karega or divide karega remainder jo bhi hamare paas rahega wo remainder ko display kar dega. For example, 8 is divided by 3 uh, in 2 times 6 will be subtracted you will get 2 as a remainder. So that is the output. So now let us use one more command here, print command of Python. 
I'm going to display my name here. Now I'll hit enter key. So you can see here after hitting enter key, I'm getting the output. So this is how an interactive mode works. Now let us move to script mode. Oops. So the script mode provides you facility to create or write lengthy Python programs, can modify, edit it, and save them for later use. Now the difference between interactive and script mode is that in script mode, just now you saw that it is not possible to write multiple lines of code at a time. Okay. But if we have 1000 lines of code, 500 lines of code, if we have to write a particular program file, or if we have to develop an app, then we require much lines of code, right? So, in that time, we have an interactive mode proper. ठीक है उसके लिए हम लोग को स्क्रिप्ट मोड यूज करना पड़ता है तो स्क्रिप्ट मोड का यही बेनिफिट है एज कंपेयर टू इंटरैक्टिव मोड दैट यू कैन राइट एज मच लाइंस ऑफ कोड एट यू वांट एंड द मोस्ट बेनिफिशियल पॉइंट ऑफ यूजिंग स्क्रिप्ट मोड इज दैट यू कैन सेव द कोड्स एज पाइथन प्रोग्राम फाइल्स सो हाउ टू ओपन स्क्रिप्ट मोड वी विल क्लिक ऑन द फाइल मेन्यू एंड we will go to the new file option. So now you can see after clicking on new file option, we had got one new window here, which is known as script mode. So let me show you how script mode works by writing a simple program. A equals 10, B equals 20, C will keep the values of a plus b now we are going to print the sum is c so we are going to print the value of c here so let me run the program. After writing the course, you need to uh, click on run and run module. So first you have to save the file. It will ask you to save. So you will click on OK. So you will write the file name here as demo. Oh, demo already exists. Demo 1 dot py. See one uh, term is written here. Should be saved with .py extension. .py extension देना हम लोग इसलिए जरूरी है, so that the interpreter will know that it is a Python file. ठीक है? जैसे कि HTML file को हम लोग .html से सेव करते थे, वैसे ही हम लोग Python file को .py से सेव करेंगे. Now I'll click on save, and we are going to get the output in the Python cell. ठीक है? तो हम लोग यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे? Script mode में हमारा सारा कोड लिखेंगे और जैसे ही हम लोग एग्जीक्यूट करेंगे कोड को द आउटपुट विल बी डिस्प्लेड इन द पाइथन सेल यू कैन सी द आउटपुट हियर द सम इज 30 ठीक है सो दिस इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग इंटरैक्टिव मोड एंड स्क्रिप्ट मोड बोथ आर यूजफुल इंटरैक्टिव मोड विल बी यूज्ड व्हेन यू आर यू हैव स्टार्टेड लर्निंग एंड स्क्रिप्ट मोड यू कैन यूज आफ्टर यू हैड learned the basics of Python. So moving on to the next topic, we will cover it in the next video. Till then, keep watching. One question is there for you, which translator program is used by Python? You can write answers in comment box. So do answer in comment box. Thank you.